All right, today I'm bringing out some Legos, okay, because these are some of the best objects to learn how to draw forms, okay? So we're talking about um, drawing different forms from their shapes, so squares, cubes, cylinders, all of that. Um, so these are excellent. Legos are excellent because we can use them to draw. We have a rectangular prism. Um, let's see, there's a little out of focus here. There we go, mm, kind of. Um, we have on the top really small little cylinders, okay? Um, if we build these together, we can make all different kinds of forms, okay? Maybe I can do that. Do one going off this way. Okay, all kinds of possibilities here. All right. And you can look at them in all different kinds of directions. So this is really also all about observation. So using our eyes to really see what we're looking at instead of just kind of, oh, yeah, it's a square, it's a square, it's a square. No. I really want to look at what a Lego looks like, okay? So we're going to learn a little bit about drawing Legos. Okay, so let's start with just a classic four or two by two Lego, okay? So it's hard to see the way I'm seeing here, but um, if I wanted to draw this Lego and it was sitting on my desk, I would start by drawing this flat shape right here, okay? So I would start with uh, kind of a little rectangle, okay? And then remember, in order to make it a form, we can do it in two ways. We could do it this way. No, that wasn't quite right. Okay, so again, I'm not erasing yet, I'm adjusting my lines and then going back and erasing once I know where I want my line to be. Okay, so I can do it like that, or I can do it uh, by drawing another shape and connecting the lines. Okay, then I need to erase. There we go. All right. So, but now we also have on top these little cylinders, all right? Now we think, looking straight at it, that these are circles. But if I'm looking at it to the side, okay, these are actually oval shapes. So I'm gonna do four oval shapes. Okay, try to make them as similar as possible. And then two little lines and a curved line on the bottom, okay? So already, this is starting to look more like a Lego. Okay, so it's not quite perfect, but it's close. Now, to make this even more three-dimensional, okay? So neither of my Legos are quite perfect. So I would keep keep drawing, keep practicing, okay? Um, but the last thing that we can do is to look at the value, okay? So look at the shading in order to make this really look like a three-dimensional Lego. So I'm going to be a little bit more careful with this drawing that I do here. So again, not quite perfect, so I'm going to just adjust a little bit, adjust a little bit. Okay. Get my ovals. Okay. But I'm going to look now. Um, let's see. It's hard to see on this thing. Um, 
Okay, so as we're looking at it, let's see if I can adjust it so that it looks, that lines up with the way that we're looking at this. Kind of like that-ish. Okay, so the way that the light is going right now, this side is much lighter. This side is the darkest side. So I'm gonna add value, I'm gonna add shading. So I'm gonna make this side really dark. I'm gonna press hard with my pencil. I'm gonna go in more than one direction to really fill that in. And I'm also gonna outline it a little bit to make it nice and dark all the way to the edges. Okay. This side is kind of a medium value. So it's not as dark as that side. It's a little bit lighter, but not as light as the top. So I'm gonna not press quite as hard. Okay, so I'm pressing lighter. And maybe I'll just go in two directions. Make sure I get all the way to the edges. There we go. Okay, uh, can't really see that on this because it's pencil. Hmm, maybe I should get some charcoal. You might be able to see that better. Maybe I can get, use a Sharpie because it's hard with the reflection of the pencil to see that that is darker. Okay. All right. And then the sh there's shadows on the sides of the cylinders. Okay. So we're going to color in the cylinders on the sides and we're going to give them a little shadow. All right. But there's all kinds of fun forms with Legos, right? So there's this kind of Lego. There's all different kinds of Legos. So for with this one, um, I would start again with this, this shape, okay? So maybe start with that shape there. Okay, and I can see that there are one, two, three, four cylinders on top. So using more than one form, okay, and creating different real life objects is really great using, really great use, sorry, of this technique okay so practicing these forms can help us draw anything from legos um, all the way to faces animals uh, skyscrapers anything that you can imagine you can draw using these forms okay so it's all about practice so what i would like you to do for this one is you can um, get some Legos, really look at them, and use your forms to draw the greatest Lego masterpiece you can think of, okay? So I can add on to these different things. So maybe actually with this one, maybe I can add another Lego piece on the bottom, but maybe it only goes halfway. Um, maybe there's a little gap here, and there's another Lego piece in the background. Um, let's see, maybe there's, so let's draw some of the tops of the Legos here. Um, so I have a lot of practice with this, so I can even just use my imagination to do these things but I want you to really look at Legos in order to see these forms, okay? Um, because you can only do this kind of thing 
once you have a lot of practice, drawing forms a lot, okay? So go ahead and practice that, um, and then you can, if you'd like to show me your artwork, um, I would love to see it. Please turn it into Google Classroom or uh, Seesaw. All right.